Hello. What if I told you that a corporation robbed thousands of everyday people, like you and me, of millions of dollars? Well, this is exactly what happened when a financial corporation, Robinhood, stopped the buying of particular stocks, such as GameStop and AMC, tanking the value of the stocks. Luckily, amid all of this chaos, a hero rose in Dave Portnoy. Today, I'm going to talk about Dave Portnoy's act in civil, en civil engagement, how it is civil engagement, why this is important, and the implications of this act. Dave Portnoy is the founder and CEO of the popular sports and pop culture media company, Barstool Sports. Last Thursday, he posted on Instagram his thoughts and reactions to the, what has transpired the last week on the stock market pertaining to Robin Hood. It's civil, civil engagement because it checks all of the criteria in our textbook keynotes for what is needed for civic, civic engagement. His purpose is to inform the audience of what's going on. It's also to encourage the audience to buy the stocks that he's talking about, GameStop, AMC, and Nokia. His power. He certainly has his power as he has a platform of 3.4 million followers on Instagram. These followers listen to what he says and literally call him El Presidente. Place. He certainly has a place to do this one, to this with on Instagram. On Instagram... The, the Supreme Court has called Instagram a modern public square. There are one billion people on Instagram. So in theory, there's a chance that Portnoy reached far more than his three million total. My second point is why this is important. The, Rob, the stock market is a place where people are supposed to be able to buy and sell stocks as they please. Robinhood is a financial services company that's supposed to allow people to do this. In their mission statement, goes as follows. Robinhood's statement is to democratize finance for all. We believe that everyone should have access to financial markets, so we've built Robinhood from the ground up to make investment friendly, approachable, and understandable for newcomers and experts alike. Unfortunately, Robinhood over the past week has completely gone against their mission statement. They don't want finance to be a democracy. They've shown that they want it to be a dictatorship. By stopping the buying of particular stocks and only allowing them to sell, they're intentionally tanking these stocks, losing people like you and me who have GameStop stock, millions of dollars, and the only people who benefit are the billionaire hedge funders that have shorted the stock, betting it will go down. This is a classic example of market manipulation, which is highly illegal. My third point is what the implications of this are. It's hard to quantify, but on Thursday, last Thursday, Portnoy gave his press conference on January 28th. According to Robinhood.com, GME closed at a price of $197 per share on that day. The next day, following Portnoy's speech where he was able to reach all of these people, the price soared to a high of $334, which is a 70% increase, absurd for the stock market. So basically... But not only did he raise the price of the stock, but he also brought attention to the issue and put a face to the cause in beating the hedge funders. Unfortunately, recently the GameStop stock has plummeted. Portnoy has sold all of his stocks for a $700,000 loss. So in the short run, Portnoy lost, I lost, average people lost, and the hedge funders won. But in the long run, Portnoy has put this issue on the map. Everyday people have already filed civic engage civil lawsuits against Robinhood, so in the future, we're going to see how this plays out. Hopefully, people like the Robinhood CEO, Ken Griffin, Steve Cohens, and others will all see their day behind bars because of the one and only Dave Portnoy.